Hello! Hi Rhea, hi Shadows, hi Darth. Shadows, thank you so much for the for the tier one and for an entire year. Uh, the, the, okay, time is time is no longer real. Like we need we need to have a chat about how it's been a year. Because that means we're all old. Hi everyone. Yes, Drei. hello! Drei. Yes, thank you, little German girl. Thank you for giving me Jeff Bezos' money for six straight months. Yes, Donna is here. Hello, she has been... <laughs> she has been waiting for her treat. Hi. How is everyone? Hi, kitty. Yeah, but to get your treat, you're gonna have to come back over here. So it was useless, wasn't it? <laughs> also doing as I've been told, lol. <laughs> Waiting so patiently. If this is patient, if this is patient. Hello. Doing okay, how is the grumble? The grumble is well. The grumble is, stop it. The Grumble has uh, picked up from the pharmacy her uh, summerly supply of hay fever meds and therefore the Grumble is doing good. Cause the pollen can't do shit to me now. The Grumble has some killer lipstick. Yes, I look, I matched my lipstick to my nail polish. This, this happens about once a year. It happened today. You will never see it happen again. Well, until the end of 2023 anyway. So there you go. Donna, no. Ooh, look at you. Yeah. Donna, please just... Oh, wow. What are you opening now? Did you did you open Yammer again? No, you opened Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Office. See, th this, is this is not patient. This is not patient. She, she would eat it straight out of the thing if she could. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. Donna. Guten Tag. Hi, Inky. Donna, Stay. Come on. I'm glad everyone's doing well. If indeed you are. Hey! Shadow's got gaybies! Donna's nev never misbehaved even once in her life, I think you'll find. Of course. Of course. See, th this is the true challenge of uh, streaming and chat being aware of your cat. Because you're basically just streaming to half a dozen of uh, cat defense attorneys. Like, I will be FaceTiming, like... Inky or another friend and Donna will be doing shit she's not supposed to and they'll be like but look at her look at her she's so cute and I'm like who the fuck are you her defense attorney and yes every single time somehow I'm talking to yeah, yeah. Donna's defense attorney is like eating your shoes oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. did I did I tell y'all Last week while, the, uh, while Inky and I were FaceTiming, Donna was just licking the dirt off the bottoms of my shoes. I... I don't know why. I don't know why you were doing that. <laughs> we are Donna's mighty legal team. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, gosh. Mmm, dead. Yeah. Okay, and now she's leaving me. So, you know. Hold on. 
Nana can eat dirt if she wants. God forbid women do anything. It's like, yeah, sure. I mean, I wasn't actively stopping her. I was just like, why? Why? Why you do this? But yeah, she was just eating my shoes. It's patient for cat standards, maybe. Maybe. This is a women's wrong support chat. Yes. Snack a quiet time to leave. She had four shoes gathered around her. Yes, she did. Two pairs of shoes. Bounteous shoes. Yes, the, the, the harvest was bountiful. Also, uh, I acquired a new board game that basically has you track murders, etc. on a ginormous Vimmer bit. Where's Waldo type city map? It's very fun. That sounds good. The shoe harvest. Mm -hmm. I mean, the shoe harvest, which is just me, like, forgetting to take my shoes off outside the front door and then being like, ah, I'll just take them off in the living room and then I'm too lazy to put them back out the front door. And that's why they were two pairs of shoes. Micro Macro Crime City, though I'm not sure if it's out in any other language besides German. Okay. Let us see. Micro Macro. I can't type. says that it was released in different uh, language versions internationally. So it should... Okay, on the website doesn't say... If my browser could just see itself clear to opening a web page when I click it, that'd be fan fucking tastic. Oh, and there's already a Chrome City 2 and a Chrome City 3. Oh, I didn't know Dolph Romantic had a board game. I'm gonna bookmark that. English editions in the Pegasus game store, yeah. <laughs> More crimes, yes. It's a very, very fun game to play with like four feral queers, especially the more complicated later cases. Yeah, the Dolph Romantic board game looks so cute. Amazon Rex from that game is instant noodles. Okay. That'll do. <laughs> my weather app on my computer keeps, whoops, uh, keeps warning me that there's a high concentration of pollen tomorrow. Yes, I know. Well, there you go. Look, it's so cute. Let's see. Oh, and then you've got the 
You've got biomes as extra packs. That's cool. Or ah, they're they're included, but you have to you have to unlock them like you do in the game. That makes sense. Neat. Look at it. So aw. Looks like a peaceful settlers of Catan. Yeah, you, you gotta have a peaceful version of that. But yeah, that that looks adorable. That looks very cute. Oh. Now that Donna has collected her snack and left. <sighs> oh yeah, some admin. At some point during the stream today. Uh, I will be getting a delivery, so... Hi, Dizzy! Enjoy your lurk! Um, so, you know, if the, uh, if the doorbell rings while we're chatting, I will simply run away. Uh, if the audio is mostly muted because we're sprinting and I'm suddenly not at my desk, don't worry, I've not been kidnapped, it's just a package. Um... Originally, the delivery window was like from 4 to 7, and now it's just gone from 6.30 to 9.30, which is exactly stream time. So, we'll be fine. Oh yeah, back, back each. Back each. <sighs> but, we'll be doing this. What's everyone doing today? What's what's everyone working on? I haven't worked on the Mass Effect fic uh, since last week because I'm uh, I'm still busy uh, sorting out and tidying up uh, and everything. And the rest of the time, I'm just playing Dredge. So, um, although that's not true. Yesterday, um, on the weekend and yesterday, I spent a couple of hours. Uh, putting um, my third Dishonored essay, the one about uh, Billy and the No Chaos system and Death uh, of the Outsider, um, through extensive rewrites, because I first wrote that, or I originally wrote that in 2020. And honestly, that essay was not my best work even at the time, but I've definitely leveled up since then, so I'm just completely rewriting it. Uh, it's fun, it's gonna be a lot clearer, a lot more concise. Um, and like the, the the thesis and the arguments themselves aren't aren't gonna change. Um, but it's just uh, yeah. Just more concisely argued. So I'm doing that and then I need to I need to capture some more and then I can finally actually make it. <laughs> oh. Excellent, yes. Rhea has finished the first draft of the Pantomime essay, so tonight's job is editing. Wonderful. Darth Fluff is going to finish making dinner, making drinks, and then maybe sketching. Lovely. And Inky's going to be working on her photo album from the Scotland vacation, so she'll be ready for Norway. <laughs> yeah. Keep thinking about rewriting my Shape of Water essay. I could do a better job now. That sounds good. Like, I'm, I'm perfectly content not touching most of my writing of, like, the past uh, 13 years, but if I want to make a video out of it, I might as well rewrite the damn thing. Um, and I might even, I don't know, I might even give the other Dishonored essays just a, just a quick poke with a screwdriver. <laughs> but, like, I also got slapped in the face with a writing prompt, so, well... We'll see. Nice and on time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's leaving Sunday. Uh, on the way, she and her friend are gonna beg me for pastries. And then they're gonna continue on to Norway. Yeah. 
I don't have a video essay planned for the Del Toro essays, but Chef of Water is my favorite and it's the weakest essay, so I want to fix it. Lol, fair. Fair. Yeah, Grumble is a lunch break. Yes, I'm the lunch break. <laughs> yes. Oh, don't worry. There, there will be Norwegian pastries. Like, I'm, I'm just the pit stop on the drive. Are you gonna go by ferry? Because then you might be passing through my town, which is always funny to hear. Uh, we, already, we already have a list with pastry names. Excellent. Like, it's, it's sightseeing and pastries. The two reasons to go it literally anywhere. I forgot to get chocolate chips. No! So I couldn't make cowboy cookies today, but after I make those, I'm thinking it's time for a batch of... Uh, oh, how do you pronounce that? Hold on. Let's just ask... Google Translate, what does it say? Boop switch. Okay. Ah, Schulbrot, okay. Skolebre. Skolebre, okay. We learned something today. I could try to explain it, but asking Google is probably quicker. Yeah. <laughs> Skolebre. We're learning. <sighs> We're learning. Speaking of learning, I um, uh, I got Dredge for console so I can play it on the sofa because I'm a lazy piece of shit. Um, so I started a new playthrough um, and I'm already, because I'm taking a little bit more time in the early game, I'm already like finding stuff that I didn't even see on my other playthrough. Yes, hello, kayak boobs. That's the name of the file. Ooh, dredge thoughts, yes. Well, at the moment it's uh, only fishing, no thoughts. I'm debating whether I want Dredge on Switch or Xbox. <laughs> Thank you for the equal opportunity treating. Yes, one must. Um, just honestly, just by controller ergonomics, I would always argue for Xbox. But of course, with the Switch, you are a lot more mobile. So. But consider switch in bed. Yes, exactly. <sighs> second playthrough, I feel like the story hits different on the second playthrough because you start to notice details. Mm -hmm. Like, I've had my first couple of conversations with everybody and it's just like... Mm, like when the... Um, uh, when the trader first sees you and it's like, Oh, are you? No, can't be. And it's like... Mm. Like, I just brushed that off on the first playthrough. I didn't even notice, but now it's like, huh? If I get a job that has me on the metro all the time, it might be nice to dredge on the commute. Yeah. Yeah, and like, dredge is perfect for it because the, like, the loop of one day is so short that you can easily get, like, a couple of days in um, and then pick up where you left off on the return journey. Love that replay value horror. Yes, it's it's infinitely replayable. And then there's gonna be like story DLC coming. Ooh. And like on my on my PC playthrough, I'm gonna I'm gonna play that a little bit more as well. Um, I'm just gonna just gonna do loads of fishing and keep upgrading my uh keep upgrading my ship until it's like fully kitted out oh oh oh! they want to add um like in a future update you're supposed to be able to give your uh your uh your boat a paint job so like you can you can choose your color scheme so ah 
Like, it's such a small thing, but it's gonna be so cute. Still love this game and still love the possibilities. Also love seeing those folks on Tumblr who recognize the quote on the shark art. <laughs> yes. Huh. Okay. Okay, I will do I'll do one one check on, on the tracking. Just to see if it turned up anywhere. Nope, nothing new. Okay. All right, should we do and sprint? Should we just chance it? Boop. Come on, package. Let's just sprint. Yes. I mean, watch. They won't even, like, they're not going to ring the bell. They'll just put it behind the house. <laughs> and then have to look for it. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, there we are. Whee! <laughs> DHL, my below the. T yes. Ah, it's fine. It's fine, really. Okay. Boop. Okay. Ding dong, 30 minutes, do your worst. Or something.
Kitty has returned. Because she knows when half an hour is up. Yeah. And she knows when that means she'll get attention. Yes. Hello. She had a booger on her eye, so I removed that. Hello. Yes, you had boogers. Donna's sense of timing is impeccable. It is. Hi, kitty baby. Would you like to purr some more for the people? Yes, yes, schnoff, schnoff. Kitty, how are you? Yes, yes. Okay, I did. The purrs are too cute. Yes. What's her best quality? Her purrs. Yes. I mean, she has excellent wiggles too. Yay, Inky did one day. Well done. Donna is the bestest. Okay, how much? How much did I write? I didn't write loads. Well, that's still 373 words. Plus some tiny additions that I made further up. So it'll come out to about 380. That's good going. I am, I think I'm, I'm pretty much at the end of it. Like I just need to, uh, I just need to describe what actually happened, which is that two hapless bureaucrats tried to off each other and brought Mercs to the meeting they had with each other. Hi, Kitty. Um, and then Zaid just needs to say some more rude words about that, and then that's it. Hi. Yes. <sighs> Ria edited four pages. Very good. Inky did one day. I didn't even manage to get that right. Fucking amateurs. Yeah. I mean exactly what what he what he shouts in in the middle of that is like fucking amateurs <laughs> like exactly him hi kitty do you wanna lie down yeah do you wanna yep okay second camera is just her fur now enjoy that hold on there you go fur cam <laughs> ah Ah, Donna, you'll make furries out of us yet, won't you? Aw, oh, baby. <laughs> I said fur cam, not furry cam. But yeah, that does sound like something else, but okay. Grumble language. I, I didn't say nothing. Zaid brain does transcend time and space. It does. <laughs> Aw, she's cuddling my phone. Donna, do you think someone will call you? Hmm? Should I have my mom call you on my phone? Yeah? Well, we can do that. <laughs> Hello, Moto! Yeah! Oh, how old is that commercial? How old is that slogan? Oh dear. I, they don't still use it, do they? Does Motorola even still exist? Don't know how the telephone yet. Yep. Oh shit, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Hmm. Like, I've got pretty good roaming, but I'm not sure that we can reach her home planet from here. Not gonna lie. I think we need the FTL connection for that. Hmm. Hi, Katie. Gotta call the cat dimension. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fucking Google if Motorola still exists. 
Do you still exist? Well, apparently they do. I mean, they're still... Uh, they're still doing ads on the brand name, so... I'm guessing. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, so apparently... Like, this is not sponsored, alright? I'm not- I'm not sponsored by Motorola. So I'm just reading a news item. But, apparently they released an entirely, like, new foldy phone. Because we remembered how nice it was to be able to snap a flip, a flip phone closed when you, an, uh, when you ended a call. Uh, and now we're just doing that with... Uh, with smartphones that are basically entirely made of screen and apparently they released a completely new one as recently as yesterday which completely passed me by so there you go it still exists it's <sighs> where so they temporarily store their bones from time to time ah that's where that is cat I mentioned okay all right, let's work on those fairy pools. Yay! I'm pretty sure reaching the cat dimension has some blood sacrifices involved, probably. <laughs> but if Motorola's feeling generous, wink, yeah. Call me, Hello Moto. I'm super good at uh, seamless and totally not fake and phony promotion. Listen, I can barely market myself. I keep seeing people complain that the screen is breaking on the fold. Yes, well! <laughs> Who could have seen that coming? Ay, ay, ay. Who could have possibly seen that coming? Pope, Catholic, and all that. What? I know, big surprise. Why, why are we talking about the Pope? What did I miss? <laughs> Big surprise. Hi, kitty. Yes. You started about phones. Catholics? In my Twitch stream? Yeah, but what's that? What's phones got to do with... 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 Is the Pope ah uh, okay? I cannot get it. Is the Pope Catholic? Is like a rhetoric question on the lines of is water wet? At least in my family, we don't have that. Uh, we have uh, geht der Esel zum Scheißen in den Wald, which is does the donkey go and shit in the woods? So. That's what I've got. <laughs> that, that, that's the that's the family heritage I have for you today. <laughs> that's the that's the donkey donkey go to shit in the woods. Hi, kitty. Yes. Hi, kitty. You're so cute. Yeah, you're making air biscuits. Yeah. I'm so glad that you're drooling on my phone. I bet that's totally good for it. <laughs> <sighs> yes, thank you. What's that? Is that lint? Did you bring lint with you? Oh no, that's a teeny tiny piece of cat litter. Thank you for putting that on my desk. I. Hello. Yes. <laughs> I love that kitty cam is just void. Now the food's done, time for a right. Yes. Wait, before the fairy pools, I should put my leftovers in a container. 
Yes, do it. It's too warm to leave them out for too long. It'll go bad. In order to avoid having any leftovers at all today, I made pancakes for lunch. Because <laughs> I found that was a good idea, and it was! Granted, when I was done with the pancakes, I also didn't, uh, or, well, was unable to move for about an hour, but that's okay. That's fine. Pancakes for lunch is a great idea. It was a wonderful idea. Oh, it was so good. I love pancakes. And then you had pancakes for dinner, and then you have more for lunch tomorrow. No, they're all gone. <laughs> I made a small I made a small portion of batter. So that I'd definitely be able to eat them all for lunch. So they're all gone now. Yes. But for lunch tomorrow, uh, I'll get a fresh, either a fresh baguette or a fresh ciabatta. Um, and then I'll make cucumber salad and uh, like teeny tiny tomatoes with, uh, with onions. And that's very good. Pancakes are the best unless you're one of the heathens putting them in soup. <laughs> I like pancake soup. It's not something that we do up here. Uh, but yes, a friend of mine is from is from the south and they do that and it's actually nice. It's good. I always end up with 15 pancakes, big wheels of them because duh, that's what the Dutch do. Yes. like bread soup but worse yeah see but I don't like bread soup pancake soup I do like <gasps> pecans left over after I do cowboy cookies so I, I might do pecan pancakes Ooh. oh that sounds good if I had if I'd had the foresight to buy chocolate chips I would have thrown those into my pancakes but I did not Almost as bad as Americans calling their fluffy things pancakes. Listen. I mean, I do always just end up making a uh, crepe rather than like fluffy pancakes. So even with like a small amount of batter, I get like eight crepe out of that because I make them super thin. Kind of want to try pancake soup just to see. Yeah. It's pretty simple. Uh, let me see if I can find flat lizard. There you go. Mm. Kind of broth. Yeah, it's basically it's broth. And you make it. You can make that any way you like, really. Hold on, I just, I grabbed uh, a recipe that looked about correct. I have leftover chocolate chips, those will go in there, but I doubt they'll be leftover chocolate. <laughs> no. You're making me hungry, yeah, well. At least we're all suffering together, right? Yeah, it's it's basically it's it's um uh like it's it's good stock soup. And then you you slice the the pancakes into ribbons and then you put them in there. Why is my camera twitching? What is it? What is it doing? Hmm. Got to jiggle the cable sometime. Yeah, do try it and like let us know whether you enjoyed it. It's the void answering Donna, probably. Probably. Oh 
Hold on, what's what's the English word for for Spätzle? Let me find out. Oh, good, Spätzle. Okay. Um, Spätzle are great. It's basically it's a thicker pasta dough, and then you like you scrape it. Uh, into boiling water and it's like it's little little strips um, I was gonna say I just always called them spets so yeah there you go then you know them um, and like I hope that you know in up here in the north it's very rare that people make them themselves uh, but my friend like I said it's from the south and they always just you know make them fresh and then she was visiting me and she was like, do you know, like, do you have a Spätzle scraping board? And I'm like, what? It's like, D what you scrape your Spätzle with? And I'm like, we don't do that here. <laughs> I mean, any, like, any kind of cutting board will do, but there are, like, specifically uh, shaped ones. Wow, can my antivirus perhaps please fuck off? Thanks. Um, and, like with a specific handle so that the, the holding and the scraping is easier. And of course I didn't have that. But I did have one with a thumb hole and that makes it easier. But yeah, it's like, we don't do that here. But like for a solid 10 seconds, we just looked at each other. Like we're in the office, just, what? What do you mean you don't have that? And me being like, what do you mean you expect me to have that? Mm. They are real. They do exist. Uh, anyway, Spätzle, very good. Too lazy to make them myself. Is it a thing you can shave the stuff? Basically, yeah, you just... Um, you, sh you shave it, like you put a blob of the batter onto the board and then you shave it in. I mean, do they have a ceramic pot with herring written on it? No? Well, yeah, well, no, but I also don't eat herring, so I wouldn't expect anyone in Bavaria whom I'm visiting to have that. <laughs> okay, Dutch cuisine is something similar. Nice. <sighs> Hi Kitty. Now we've been now we've been talking about food. That was a mistake. Also, people seem to be confused about the cheese slicer. The the round and round thing? Oh which one? Like the one for Tetum one or Or the like shaving one. Another thing you use on a block of cheese to get nice slices. Like the thing with the handle? And then you just... Hold on. I know what you mean, Inky. We have one. <laughs> different ones uh hold on are we talking about a keys of Hobo? like are we talking about this guy <laughs> like a smash bar shaver for keys basically that this guy yeah 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 i've got one wait is that guy Who would use that like that? <laughs> oh, hold on. There. Like, who who would do that like that? Like, just just cutting into your cheese. I 
again, this this is the one I meant for. Ew, no. Just give me the here. This is the one I meant for a uh, Tetum one, and you get like a like a glass bowl on top of it to cover it. Every cheese cheese salesman here. It's yeah, I know. It's it's yeah. It's the best way to get big slices, but yeah, it leads to wonky cheese. Very wonky cheese. Yeah, cheese slicer. In in German, it's Käsehobel, which is just like Hobel is also what we call like wood shaving stuff. So we just. <laughs> Like, put a cheese in front of it. <laughs> but basically, it's woodworking equipment just for cheese. I was used to bring one on holiday. Oh, because oh, cause no one else had one? Oh, goodness me. Another case of does what it says on the tin. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong. I do try to like get blocks of cheese that are uh, a little wider, a little wider, so they don't like start at super thin. But even if they're super thin, I'll just start slicing on that side because it's like, I... no. France was notorious for not having them. Wow, France once again living in infamy. You'd think France would be better about cheese utensils, yeah, but. French people only use, like, the, the French people have, like, 300 different kind of cheese knives. But not a single slicer. Now you can just buy pre-sliced cheese. Yeah, but that's too easy. Yeah, we're slicing on the long side. Oh, yeah, that works. And the French are just lost. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I do have a lovely little set of cheese knives. Not inherited. I bought them myself, but yeah. And then I just, <sighs> and then I just go for the slicer anyway. Well, except for camembert because that would be bad. <laughs> That's the French in you. Yeah. I should probably get some dedicated cheese knives. Honestly, having dedicated cheese knives is nice. It is nice. Every time we do charcuterie, we run through all our knives. Exactly, that's where I got them. Because, like, you know, if you just have some... Can you imagine slicing up some brie with that thing? It's like... Um, yeah, it's like trying to cut wet cement with a knife. Um... Yeah, because like every time you just have some lovely camembert and then, you know, you just want to cut off a bit and then you cannot use that knife for anything else because everything else that you cut with it will stink like cheese, so. <sighs> Having dedicated knives is good. But yeah. Just not, just not slicing brie with a Käsehobel. I actually hate brie, so James has to have a separate knife for the brie so it doesn't touch my cheese. Fair. Absolutely fair. Um, like, when I lived with my parents, we would basically have to keep uh, the knives that my mom and I used to cut the... not the brie, but the camembert that was basically already, like, melting away because we liked it really stinky. Uh, like we'd have to keep them in 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 containment and contamination. Cause my dad likes brie, but he does not like camembert that is on the edge of tilting. So and then he hates blue cheese. So if I have a blue cheese, it also has a separate knife. <laughs> Fair. My dad has to use separate knives to keep the stinky cheese away from me. Oh. I, I do like stinky cheese. Like, I understand everyone who does not like stinky cheese. And, like, it's it's tough because when I still worked at the agency, like, I love stinky cheese. 
and I don't mind like opening my own fridge and getting like a waft of stinky camembert to the face, right? But you know, when it's your own stinky cheese, it's fine. When it's someone else, like someone else's stinky cheese in a shared fridge in a work environment, and you open the <laughs> you open the agency fridge and you just <sighs> that's when you start getting murderous. And I, I do like stinky cheese, so I could not imagine what that would have been like. Um, or what that was like for people who really didn't like stinky cheese to begin with. <laughs> so we were always like, Ollie, finish your cheese. Like, God damn it. It was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Every single thing in your fridge smells the same, gross. Yes. I mean, that's how I feel about, like, citric acid and lemon zest in literally anything. It's like, how can you still, like, how can you still taste the rest? It's all just lemon now. But, of course, like, the stuff you don't like, uh, you, you sense and you taste and you smell, like, even more. At my last job, someone kept putting tuna in the fridge and I was about to commit murder. That That is a crime. Tuna? Ooh. Inky's right, that is a crime. <sighs> like... I don't like tuna. But I feel like even people who do like tuna... No, that's, your, that's just your allergy talking, which is fair, but lemon isn't that overpowering. Yeah, Probably is. I mean, like, we, we talked about this last week. Um... Because, like, you know, when someone brought like cake in to the agency and I would ask other people to taste test it for me to see if there's lemon in it and they'd be like no and I'd take a bite and I'd spit it out immediately and they'd be like I did not taste that and I'm like I do <laughs> so yeah guys it's the allergy talking but hey protective mechanisms that work thank you taste buds saving my life taste is different I was talking smell yeah I mm. Sometimes I can smell it on the cake. Most of the times I can't smell it. <laughs> but yeah, I, f I find the smell overpowering as well. Like surely even if you like tuna, you understand to not put fish in the shared fridge. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Tuna's a bad take. Tuna's a Tuna's a bad idea any day of the week. <sighs> okay. And Donna, yeah, she wanted she wanted to contribute to the conversation. Hello. Yes, yes. Oh. No, oh, she's sitting. She sit. Hello. Yes. Hi, Kitty. Yes. I mean, tuna isn't that bad unless the container's open. Just close your lunchbox like a normal person. Yeah. The problem is when it's like just, just a little bit of like uh, cling film covering it, because that stuff breaks containment fast. All right, let's choose from 150 photos. Oh, good, good luck. Also, yes, I'm a fish apologist, unless it's too much mayo or jellied. Yeah, the tuna apologists are at it again. Yes. How many are we choosing? Oh, happy World Green Roof Day. I had no idea that was a green roof day, but now we know. Yeah. I think my... Mm, did I give my house an Animal Crossing... Either I gave it like green doors and a yellow roof or a green roof and yellow doors. I can't remember. But one of the two. I'm at 8 to 10 a page right now and then two pages a day. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds like a good number. Well, good luck. Here is Kitty. Mine had a black roof. Blue roof. Shockingly, yes, we are, we are we are shocked at that turn of events. 
Hi, Katie. Listen, you gotta... You gotta be on brand. Hi, Katie. Yeah. My mom visited me on Sunday and she brought me uh, like green and yellow socks. <laughs> so I am on brand too. I'm wearing I'm wearing the green ones today. Yeah. Because I've got my green trousers on. It's more of all the plants on your roof and grass kind of green, not just color. Oh of course. That makes sense. Living roofs. Oh, I love living roofs. Hi Kitty. Yes, do we want to do a sprint? Do we want to do a sprint? I was picturing a pair with one green and one yellow sock. I, I do sometimes do that. I was tempted to do that today. Um, Cause yeah, it, it was one pair with like, well, two yellow socks and two green socks. And I was like, hmm, I could mix and match. Cause like up until, well, it's it's a few years ago now, but up until a few years ago, I never matched my socks. Like I would just match them by, by make basically. So I would constantly wear mismatched socks all the time. That's a sprint. Saw the American Book Center here in Amsterdam post a pick of their roof and they mentioned it. Nice. Now we know, Kitty. Blasphemy. Ah, shush. I never match my socks. One time I matched them on accident and it made my youngest brother cry. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. We, can, we cannot make little brother cry. Donna, stop that. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Okay, 30 minutes. And you get a kitty.
don't hit me again. Uh. Hi, April. Hello. How you doing? Uh. April joined us mid sprint. And uh, she's doing campaign prep for a Vampire the Masquerade game. Do tell us more about that if you'd like. <laughs> Hi, Donna. Hi, Kitty. Day done. Next one is Skyfall Road, so I'll do that when there's more than three minutes left. That's very good. Abu. Hi, Kitty. Yeah. I don't know what was making noise, but she was like, she kept looking at the door. And like her, her head kept going back up, so I think she needed to go and investigate something, so she didn't stay throughout the sprint. Apple, yeah. Oh, it's okay using four pages because the the postcards from the fairy pools are so cute. Donna's looking for that package. Yeah, probably. I have one paragraph left to edit. I will probably noodle along at that while we chat. Excellent. Excellent, please do. Ah! Hello. What do you want? Oh, no one knows. Wrote some banger dialogue. What in the void? He grumbled up upon seeing that fuzzy mass on his head. Meow, it answered, not looking like it was about to move. <laughs> Very good. That sounds excellent. Hi, kitty. Yes. Hi kitty baby, I did... How, how, how much words did I do? There we go. I did uh, 535 words. Mm, I keep having, I keep having funny numbers today. Hello, hello. Someone just lost bed privileges to an invading fuzzball, even though said fuzzball did not help dragging the bed upstairs. Well, no, of course not. Yay! It's gonna be set in Las Vegas about a bunch of newbie vampires hanging out and trying not to get murdered. <gasps> that does sound excellent fun. I am... I am almost finished with this fic. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so close, I can taste it. I'm so close, I can taste it. Probably committing anti-fascism along the way, who knows? Yes, who's to, who's to say? <gasps> who's to say? I finished that paragraph, so final word count is 5,043. Excellent. Excellent work, Rhea. Very proud. We love to see it. Excited to finally get it started, yeah. Hi, kitty. Yeah. Just for Rhea, uh, I have included the phrase besotted Turian, so there you go. Got four days left, surely I can manage with Rhea. Yeah, you fine. Hi, Kitty. <laughs> there is a besotted Turian, yes. Because, yeah, like, Garrus asked a question uh, or made a comment, and then Shepard just looks at him and he just, like, again, just gives an answer as if that explained literally anything. And Shepard just nods, and Zayid just looks at them and goes, These two belong together. Like, <laughs> that's fine, whatever they've got going on. Um, and then later Chakwas gives a, gives an answer that, again, doesn't explain literally anything. Um, and then it's like, clearly Shepard's mind reading abilities only extended to besotted Turians. <laughs> so there you go. Treats for Rhea. I do enjoy having Zaid sigh for 10 years at Shep and Garrus. It's like, yeah, poor old man, he's so set upon, he's, he's beset. He's just, he's beset by giant weirdos who think it's endearing when a besotted Turian just talks about calibrations. 
instead of just having the sex. They both so clearly want. Oh no, let's talk about calibrations for approximately three years. Yeah. And beset by Shep with her just half the sex. <laughs> like he's he's gonna make them like he's gonna commission Gardner to make them like a cake. And with fondant, he's gonna scroll onto it. Just half the sex. Like it's not even congratulations on all the sex because they're clearly not having it. Otherwise they wouldn't be talking about calibration so much. So just just half the sex. God damn it. Y'all it's useless. Mm. Locks them in a broom closet. Listen. If I could figure out where the Normandy broom closets are, I would lock my Shep in there with the, um, with Garrus and just see what happens. <sighs> but yeah, poor old man. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, in that, in that fic I wrote, like, Zaid is part of the OT4, but, like, his ob observation still stands. It's like, you know, being with Shepard, Garrus is never going to learn what human women like, because, as it happens, Shepard likes giant weirdos, so he's never going to learn. So there you go. Normandy broom closets are wherever you believe them to be. Our canon now. True. I will just imagine a wee broom closet right where I need it, and then shove them in there. That doesn't make them yes, less useless, no. No, they're the same amount of useless. But at least in this fanfic specifically, they're already having the sex. And that's the important part. The Normandy supply closets are like the wardrobe for Narnia. Yes, exactly. They're, they're, they are there precisely when you need them to be. To be fair, Zaid is probably the same amount of useless idiot. A little bit, mm, a little more, a little bit more straightforward about it sometimes, but yes. Now I, now I do want to write the broom closet problems. Well, seeing as y'all badgered me into writing this, I would posit that that is the opposite of a problem. And bigger on the inside, yes. Well, they have to be, because Turians are not exactly short or small. No, no. Listen, why is it only me who gets badgered into doing things? It's all fun and games, unless feelings get involved. Yeah, well, that's just all of them. Not with their basketball hoop collars, they aren't. No, God, that armor is so. I retired from Mass Effect writing. Fine. Fine. Listen, as someone who's looking forward to finally retiring, fr retiring from Dishonored writing, I get you. I get you. If you're retired, you're retired. I'm trying here, Grumble. I'm trying. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> the armor gives toilet, not gonna lie. Yeah. Like, you know, at some point, some poor Turian got knocked out by a toilet seat. And they just made that into armor. Is that a dead like me reference? Yes, it is. It's a cone of shame vibes. Oh. And then like with the with the dinky little helmets. It's like, okay. I miss dead like me. Me too. Me too. At least like I, I got the I got the box sets second hand after I was silly enough uh, to sell mine. Uh, so I can I can rewatch them now. Happy Pride! Yes! Oh my god, we're all of us were we're bad queers. We forgot. Like uh, our first stream of the month was last Friday and we but all of us just forgot. But hey, in here it's always Happy Pride. And if I line up, line up just right, it makes me look like I've got cat ears. So, what's not to love? Hold on, where's, where's the good emoji? Whee! 
God hearts. <sighs> yes, happy pride everyone. Remember, pride is an occasion to knock people's teeth out if they're mean to you. So, you know, go do that. <laughs> yes. What is that? Oh god. <laughs> it's a new moat just goes teeth, 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 teeth. Which, yes, that's the vibe. Slightly more eldritch, perhaps? Oh, and deep and heavy. Tastes like emptiness. Tastes like alarm. Mmm. Tea. Yes. Floating rumbles. Yes. You can you can now use my face as an emote. Isn't it? Like the wonders of technology. <laughs> yes, and kayak boops. So there you go. Anyway, happy pride! What more do you want in life? <laughs> I mean, better trans healthcare? But, you know. <laughs> Grumble spam. Oh no, that's, that's so many of my teeny tiny faces. I was angrily looking at... Um, I was angrily looking at the reactor core. And then I took a screenshot of it, and that's what happened. What do you, more do you want in life? Teeth, teeth, teeth. Yes, to make a necklace of. Mm. Now that'd be something. Like just a necklace made. <laughs> no, that's one's bones. Um, I'll settle for healthcare. Yeah. Like healthcare for our trans friends. And um, anyone who wants it, a free necklace uh, with teeth uh, of trans and queer phobes. I think that would be that'd be a good deal. And anyone who's into the tooth necklace vibe can have one. And if you're not into that, that's fine too. I have a necklace with shark teeth somewhere. Yeah, but listen, not 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 to be a shark apologist or anything. But sharks are nice. <laughs> One can argue that teeth are bones, but like anatomically, there's something separate. Like too many distinct materials to be classified as bones. Hmm. And sharks are our smooth friends. Exactly. We are shark apologists in this house. Yes, we are. Sharks are good. Dolphins apparently are evil. As we learned during the during the dredge stream. So there you go. Yeah, they're just teeth they found on the beach. Sharks use them lose them a lot. Huh. Did not know that. But I guess that's why they have so many. Because, like, if they lose a couple, eh, they grow back. Hi, Donna. Are you chill now? Okay. Let's see. Any update on Parkit? Nope, none. Okay, okay. Random thought, but the Tooth Fairy gets more eldritch the longer you think about it. Yeah. Training teeth for money. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Like, my mum has, like, both mine and my sister's baby teeth, like, all wadded up in a little tissue paper. Uh, and I'm pretty sure she keeps them in, like, a tiny cabinet in her kitchen. Yeah. Like the cabinet used to like it's it's a basically it's a it's a tiny shelf like it's about it's about this big, um, and there's like little uh, porcelain um, like tubs in there. It used to belong to my great grandma, um, 
So like the uh, the illustrations, like there's little illustrations on them, and then you know in, in French it says like sugar and flour and stuff. Um, and yeah, so she's got all of our little baby teeth, and I think she's got an extra one with like baby teeth from her first puppy as well. So it's our teeth and Gina's teeth. <laughs> so yeah. Teeth in the kitchen. And she still has them. Who's to say? I was looking at a food menu today and there's a fish soup with razor blades in there and although I know what they are, it always makes me laugh. Razor clam? Razor fish? Razor, razor clam? I think? I'm not sure. I got my own baby teeth in a little wooden jar. I had my teeth in a tiny basket jar. My parents did not keep my teeth. Teeth, 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 teeth. I'm still on the razor blade fish. <laughs> I've heard of razor clams. Yeah, that, that sounds familiar. Answers? I'm not sure. Hold on. While, you, while you're holding the banana, let me Google that for you. Razor clam. Okay, you'll be pleased to know that in German, the razor clam is called Pazifische Messermuschel. That's a tongue twister if I've ever I've seen one. They're found on the Pacific West Coast. From the Aleutian Islands, Alaska, down to Pismo Beach in Cali. And it's also known as a razor shell or an American jackknife clam. Interesting. I am glad to know that. There you go, Grumble Science Corner. <laughs> the razor blade fish is something you catch and dredge. Oh! Yeah, they're shells that look like a straight razor. Mm. Call them sheer messin. Pismo Beach is nice. Ah, That's good. And all along the lower sea. California Mansion, time to chime in. Yeah, I mean, none of us have been to Pismo Beach. Your G is too soft. No. But there isn't a G in Shamus. <laughs> Dang it. The H is a G. Okay. I mean, I know about the the G being a H sound because like Van Gogh and stuff. That sounds like code for something. <laughs> yeah. We're just we're just doing spy shit. Life on stream. That's what we're doing. <sighs> Hold on. Let's let's ask. Let's ask Google. Why not? We have the power of the internet. We can just do things. Schiermesse. Oh, okay. Fine. Yeah, I was pronouncing it the German way, which is just shh. <laughs> Schiermesse. There we go. They're the same sounds, but different. Yes. I'm touching Donna's toe beans in case if you even care. Hi. Yes. <laughs> okay. 
Do we have one more sprint in us? Can can we finish things? I care about the beans. Good. Beans. Yeah. Beans. Dutch mansion, time to chime in again. <laughs> one more day. Bean content is good content, yes. Oh, learning it on Duolingo. It's a fun language. Nice. Excellent. Okay, we have we have tasks. Therefore, we shall do things. <laughs> I don't hear fun a lot when talking about Dutch. <laughs> yeah, glad you're having a good time.
much of a bird. Must be warm.
so glad the careless whispering continues. Nice. Yeah, the fic is done. The first fic of 2023 is actually finished. Hey, fic done. Great job, Grumble. Thank you. Got my Pentiment essay scheduled for Monday. Yay. Excellent. Can't wait to read it. Very excited. Well done. In well done, everybody. Excellent work. <sighs> How many words was the rest of that? I don't actually know. And when? Where? Uh... There we go. Oh, that was just 244 words. That was just the rest of it. But yeah, it turns out in, in the outline I have a ton of silly dialogue, so at least I'll have something to live for. Uh, and during the edit, I can just work all of that in. So... That'll be fun. Oh, Stunner returning. Hello. There she is again. Hi, kitty. And Inky did done the Skyfall day. Excellent. Excellent work, everybody. Yeah, look. Look, oh, here's, here's Donna. Returned to do the purring just for you. <laughs> also, Grumble, you're looking very lovely today. Extra lovely even. Thank you. Yes, I, I coordinated lipstick and nail polish. Like I said at the top of the stream, that happens once a year. It's happened now, so there we go. It's all downhill. It's all downhill from there. Nice, I didn't get much done because cat bit's distracting, but hey, call that research. Yeah. Hi, kitty baby. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Donna had to, has decided that it is cuddle time, so I will call the stream here. And look, we weren't interrupted by package. I am at this point, I'm not sure if it really will arrive today. If it doesn't, ah, yes. <laughs> ah, yes. Okay, so it's ticked over to tomorrow or Thursday. That's fine. And they say to contact them if it's not there by Friday. That's okay. Yeah. It'll it'll get here when it gets here. That's okay. Like when I when I saw the delivery window had like updated to like 6 30 to 9 30, I was like, they never usually get here that late. Like it'll probably take over, but that's okay. Cause hey, we didn't get interrupted. Donna, please don't. She's just trying to ooze onto the keyboard today. Hi, baby. Yes. Red! Yeah. Uko did some reading. Read almost 50 pages today, which is quite a lot for me. Excellent going. Hi, baby. Alas. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Donna is perfect and valid. Same Donna as Melty. Yeah. Hi, kitty. Did you drink enough today? Hmm? Did you get enough to drink today? I will check your water bowl. Don't think I won't. But thanks for hanging out, cheese slices. Ah, oh, you're welcome, everybody, and thank thank you for keeping me company while I uh, while I finished this bag of nonsense. And I'm glad that we all got lovely stuff done today. What what a productive what a productive evening. I'm very proud of all of us. So. Opportunity treat. I will. Oh my gosh. If this continues, I'm gonna have to turn monitoring off, which is not a threat for you, just a comfort setting for me. Um, I will. I will. I will just. I will. I will run away. We're holding you hostage now. Yes, and I will. Um, I will run away to escape. I will see you Friday, and we're gonna be playing. Killer Frequency, 80s Radio, Murder, 
I haven't played a minute of it, so I have no idea what to expect. Anyway, 